Welcome to the Our Golf Academy. Today we're going to work on the third phase of our five phase game improvement program. Today with us we have a uh, celebrity come golfer who's been working with the Institute of Golf for a while, uh, Shane Cortez. Uh, he's going to be here to show us uh, what he's been working on for a while here at the Institute of Golf, uh, the third phase of the five phase game improvement program, which we call the load and lever systems. What you'll find today is we'll work on how to get the club from the second position to the top effectively and really efficiently. Once we get to the second position here, we're going to use the arms and the elbows to allow the club to work to the top of the backswing so we get a nice straight line from the club to here from the camera angle. From here, all it is basically is the body just needs to unwind to deliver the club to the ball. We find a lot of golfers having the club very steep at this position and very flat at this position which means that the body has to manipulate the club to square it up. So I've got a few drills here which enable you to really further develop this third phase, the load and lever systems. We're going to do them at home as well. So what I'll get you to do is grip down the grip so your bottom hand is on the shaft of the club. Then we're going to get through to the second position and then load to the top. Our reference point is here having the butt of the club in the mirror pointing down to the ball. You'll see that the butt of the club also gives you a better view of that down the line view of the club with the arm. So the second drill we're going to be doing is one that we can do at the driving range called the pause drill. Pause drill is one that we find each position from the first move to the top, stopping and referencing it. If a player finds himself too steep with a club pointing straight to the ground or too flat, then they need to reset and start again. From here, again, we'll go to the first position and then to the top, checking it, referencing it, then looking back at the ball and then hitting. So once again, the pause drill, key points are making sure you're referencing the position by looking at each position from the first move to the load, ensuring you're in the right position at the top by looking. Then once he looks back at the ball, committing to the shot. So that was phase three. Hopefully by now you should see some serious development in your game. Next time, phase four, transition and pivot.